Welcome, friends, followers, and fellow book lovers. I'm excited to bring you this new episode where I share with you a book I've recently read. This is Leonardo's Brain by Leonard Schlein. Now, I read this book, or the three reasons I read this book is, one, I heard good things about it. Uh, it was referenced in a podcast, and so I went to, to put it on my wish list. Uh, I was interested in the ideas and concepts I expected to find in this book. Number three, I wanted to learn what I could about this brilliant man, Leonardo da Vinci's thinking. Uh, three leadership principles from Leonardo's life. One, he was a cutting-edge artist. He tried things that were not that were not done for like three or five hundred years in some cases. Two, he was a cutting-edge sculptor. Uh, some some people have said that his sculptures have made them cry because they seem so alive and moving. Um, and number three, uh, he was a visionary. And, and I say that because in the book, uh, Leonard talks about how he could do things with his mind that were only recreated by satellite later on, for example. Um, uh, amazing, amazing examples. Um, but what I really want to share with you guys is that this book reaffirmed to me how important it is that our logical and creative brains work together and that we can become a whole person as we work to cross those barriers between our left and our right hemispheres in our brain. Um, there's so many things that, that Leonardo da Vinci did either one, because it was logical, like the backwards writing, he was left-handed. So he wrote backwards. So he didn't smudge his ink. Um, which <laughs> Is so so systems oriented, so logical brain to me that I I totally like as soon as I read it I was like as soon as I heard it in the book I was like oh that totally makes sense it's something that that I would do myself um, in those regards and I got to tell you that um, they did other things that didn't make any sense to me at all except for uh, Leonard being able to explain his thinking. And that is he chose to be a vegetarian in a time where most people didn't think about the feelings of other animals. And really, um, that thinking is something that's more in uh, the 1900s and today than it ever was previously, uh, which is which is impressive in itself. Um it's a fascinating dive into the human mind. And from what I know of Leonardo's life, from being a student of history and being aware of some of his works, I really feel like uh, Leonard goes in and provides a really good, really good insights into the human mind and really. Um, into what we can interpret of Leonardo da Vinci from his works. Uh, th this guy created and made things that, you know, we didn't even, we didn't even remake until modern era. Um, till the early 1900s. And it's fascinating when you find somebody so brilliant and you can learn about their lives uh, I think it tells us a lot about the human potential and what what we can do if we work on ourselves, if we find our creativity, the places where we're we're good at creating, and then build those things, make those things. Um, I, I know that that's kind of cliche to say to follow your passion for some people, but really that's what he did. Uh, that's what Leonardo da Vinci did. He did things that were unconventional and unusual and um, probably 
probably could have cost him his life if uh, some of Leonard's uh, beliefs about him are true in, in that and from that in according to him living in that era. So again, um, fascinating read, highly insightful into Leonardo da Vinci and our logical and creative minds and and why really we should try to do things that help bridge those gaps for ourselves, for you and I individually. So, all right. Uh, I, I do recommend you pick up this book and read it. Uh, thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and share it. If you are looking for someone to help you level up your leadership and people skills, that's what I do at Turning Leaf Solutions. You can connect with me at turningleafs.com. Uh, and on there, there is a link for a free consultation where uh, we you can book a half-hour appointment with me, and we can talk about how I can help you change your career or level up for a better job, a uh, better promotion, things like that, uh, because that's what I do. I was once stuck in a, in a job like that, and um, – mentoring and coaching help me get out of that so thank you guys for again thank you guys for uh spending time with me hope you get value from this video or this audio if you're catching this on the podcast and i'll catch you guys next time go out and make it a great day